Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry, it's been a few days for me. I don't. I know there were some people that were uh, asking me when I was going to finish the videos, and it ended up more being more than just the next day. But uh, I'm starting back up again, and I believe we left off where this was happening. As uh, as we slide over, once we get to a certain point, right in here, it stops working. See, um, it's we've kind of hit an edge. It just won't. Basically, it's not drawing anything here, so it kind of smears whatever uh, we move, or whenever we move, it keeps it right here. And uh, when I thought about it, it makes sense. In our draw screen, which happens to be right here, we are drawing um, one to the maximum number of tiles that we can fit widthwise across the screen. Right? So obviously this would change depending on um, how wide the screen was. So on my low resolution here, I'm not going to be able to fit as many tiles as, say, you would sitting you know, at home with a higher resolution. Well, this here is our problem. If we're sliding over, we're no, no longer looking at tiles 1 through 10. I'm just going to say 10 for the sake of a uh, nice number. Let's say 1 through 10 is if we're standing still. If we start to slide over, it won't draw tiles 11, 12, and so forth, even though they're on the screen now. Because, see, this says draw 1 through, um, let's just say 10. So what we need to do here is change it. It has to change as our look A changes, as we slide side to side, or shift across the map. So I'll say look A instead of 1, and we're going to look A plus this amount. So if it had been 1 and 10, now it will be um, 1 and 10 still if look A is 1. Now here, let me uh, get rid of this plus 1. So if look A equals 1, if that's our shift, which actually it is when we first start, then we're still going to be going through the same um, range that we were. Uh, it just occurred to me that I did not set the timer. Let me do that. I don't know, maybe 7 minutes or so? I'm not sure how long. Okay. But as our look A changes, as we're sliding across the screen, it now will slide with us. It will stop drawing, let's say, 1 through 5 once we've started to slide, and it will draw 5 through 15 instead of uh, 1 through 10. So this should have fixed it. Let's try it. These all work like they did before. Now if I slide over, somewhere in here is where it stopped, and now it works. So let me see here. Land. Just going to try making some stuff. And sure enough, it is updating on the minimap here. Now, here's something that some of you may have noticed. If you click on the minimap or click somewhere else and you try to use the arrow keys, which I'm tapping, of course you can't see me tapping, uh, we're not sliding around anymore. The reason is the code that we have for sliding is in this picture. Let me jump back in here. If we double click on the code, or uh, double click to open the code, see here we have the code for sliding ourselves around. I'm going to copy this and put it into picture three's key down. This way, if we have this one, if we have clicked on the minimap for whatever reason, we can still use the arrows. Still works. Um, let's try loading our map. I'm just going to slide us over here and do something else. I want to see if the end works, if we stop when we're supposed to. Let's put a few things in. And now we have stopped. Now, this over here represents that we've fallen off the map. Now, if you're wondering why in the world it's doing that, it's because each of these tiles, this happens to be 110, which is the, the maximum width that we had decided upon. And it does make sense here. As soon as we scroll off the edge, that's where we start to see this. Now, we've selected a tile A and a tile B that kind of starts the whole map that looks like the sky right here. Anything that's off the map, these are uh, tile numbers that are too high. You know, we don't have a 111, for example. It just, the tile A and tile B values are going to be 0 and 0. Well, you know, because they're blank. Well, when it goes to draw this stuff in, is just a falling off the map kind of empty space. This is 0, 0 in our, uh, our sprite sheet. So that's why it's doing it. Well, for this, we can leave it. We know what this is and the user is never going to see the map editor. But if you were going to 
um, create a map editor so that the users of your game could make their own maps, you're going to want to make things a little bit nicer. And what I would suggest is that you put a black space, maybe, as your spot zero zero, just a, a black square. So then as they scroll off the map, it's just black instead of an actual picture. So that's just one way to solve it. I mean, of course, there's code. There's ways you could solve that with code, but um, we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, I'm going to save the map. What would be nice would be the ability to jump back and forth on the mini map by simply clicking. Most games let you do that, so we're going to handle that right now. Um, that will be under mouse down. I I've opened the code for the mini map, if, in case you missed it. If I say mouse down. We are going to say well, how how wide was this? It's it's been a few days, like I said, and I'm I'm trying to remember what all we were doing. I do remember that it was 110 tiles wide, is what we had determined. And if the width is 440, that must mean that every four pixels represents one tile. So where's mouse down at? That should mean that look a equals the integer of x divided by four plus one call draw minimap and call draw screen. Let's see if that works. Well, it's jumping us. Let's try loading the map and see if it really does in fact do what we want it to do. And it is. Okay, here's a quick way to jump back and forth in our level. Okay. Now this one here is not showing up on the minimap because when I clicked it apparently I had still had it set on sky. So if I go to land and I set it to something, there we go, it's just on the mini-map. Okay. It's easy enough. Let's see what would be next. You know what, I think... I'll figure out how much time I have. It says I have two minutes left. I really don't know how long I've been talking before I turned on the timer. So I think I'm going to save it. But, while I have it shut off, I'm going to put together a level. Just something simple. Um gotta make sure I start with land. Now, I don't actually have a ladder picture. I should probably add that in. You know, I might do that too. I might do that too. I might put a little uh, artwork and add to this sprite sheet. And for you guys at home with the larger screen resolution, you'll be able to fit everything on the screen. I'm, I'm really running out of space here, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way of rearranging a few things for myself to fit a bigger sprite sheet on. But you know what? I'm gonna put together, I don't know, something as a level and uh, you know you guys get how this would work it's not that complicated it's just time consuming so um, you know put together a bit of a level see how it works out oops got that set wrong I don't even know. I can't even see enough of the sprite sheet to, to know what's going on. But set yourself up a level. Oops, I should have hit save. All right, well, I'm going to save the video and uh, work on that. So see you in a few minutes.